Barakata Yehawa Barakata Yabushai by Shem Raka Kodash Barakatom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and infinite honors to Yahweh by Shem Yabushai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule in Tichwa. And peace and salutations to Yaakim out there pushing this word in truth and sincerity to the four corners of the globe. May you brothers endure until the end. This is the brother Raya with another video. And I'm going to start it off with Matthew chapter 24, verse 7 through 8. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. And uh, all you have to do is look at the news to see that all these different events are taking place. And it's just more of an indication that we're living in the last seconds of these last days. We're in the final rulership of the heathens, chiefly Esau Edom, the so-called white man, that red Hebrew Edomite. And again, as it says in verse 8, all these are the beginning of sorrows. Expect these different events to intensify as we get to the final piece of prophecy we're waiting for, which is when Esau Edom mandatorily implements the mark of the beast, which is that microchip implant. And once he does that, it's game over, because shortly thereafter, Yahweh Shai is going to return, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, to save the elect of his people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who are the true children of Israel, and put the final nail in the coffin of Esau Edom's rulership. But in this particular video, I'm going to be dealing with these pestilences because um, all different types of pestilences are uh, breaking out all across the planet. And uh, you're going to begin to see thousands to hundreds of thousands of people die off in massive numbers. So, Akiam, now's not the time to be uh, playing games in this truth. You should be fully assured in your faith in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai because uh, his protective covering is going to be the only thing that's going to get you through these coming terrible times of Jacob's trouble. But now I'm going to go to my first article on endoftheamericandream.com titled, The biggest animal disease outbreak we've ever had on the planet has already killed millions and there is no way to stop it. We have never seen an animal disease outbreak like this before and it is rapidly getting worse because the Most High is beginning to visit the world in which he made for its wickedness. African swine fever, also referred to as pig Ebola, has already wiped out millions upon millions of pigs, and it continues to spread to even more countries. And with this being the case, and with pigs being a, such a large part of many people's diets, this is going to lead to these famines as well. And it's a righteous judgment for you people out here, because you're not supposed to eat pigs, they're an unclean animal when you go to the laws. There's no vaccine and there's no cure. And so essentially we don't have any way to stop this disease. At this point, the only solution is to kill all the pigs wherever the virus is found and desperately hope that it doesn't spread anywhere else. But that approach clearly hasn't been working. And according to a recent Fox News report, this epidemic has now become the biggest animal disease outbreak we've ever had on the planet. This is the biggest animal disease outbreak we've ever had on the planet. Dirk Pfeiffer, a veterinary epidemiologist at City University of Hong Kong and swine fever expert said, it makes the foot and mouth disease and mad cow disease outbreaks pale in comparison to the damage that is being done, and we have no way to stop it from spreading. China is the epicenter for this outbreak, and it is also home to half of all the pigs in the world. Actually, to be more accurate, I should say that it used to be home to half of all the pigs in the world. In a normal year, China slaughters approximately 700 million pigs, but according to Rabobank, that number will be down 30% this year due to this outbreak. Researchers at Rabobank are estimating that this year, China will suffer a 30% loss in pork production as a result of ASF. To put that into perspective, that 30% loss in production is equivalent to Europe's entire annual pork supply and almost 30% larger than the US annual pork production. So let's do some quick math. 30% of 700 million is 210 million. Let that sink in for a moment. 210 million pigs will be lost in China alone in 2019. And when you throw in the rest of the world, we are talking about cataclysmic losses already and the outbreak is still getting worse. 
and you and also remember that you've been having these uh, storms and massive flooding destroying uh, U.S. farmers' lands where they're not able to plant a sufficient amount of crops. So that's going to lead to a uh, food crisis over here in the U.S. One of the primary reasons why this virus is so fearsome is because it survives just about anywhere and it is incredibly hard to kill. The germ is hardly capable of remaining active in water for a month in meat and blood at room temperature for several months and for six years in cold dark conditions it's resistant to temperature extremes and can survive a day in vinegar strength acids even if we had an effective treatment attempting to eradicate this disease would be a complete and utter nightmare but as i stated earlier there is no vaccine and there is no cure all we can do is keep killing pigs but of course Global demand for pork just continues to grow as the global population increases. So with increasing demand and rapidly falling supply, it was inevitable that pork prices would begin to rise substantially. The implications of the outbreak are already being felt beyond Asia. Global pork prices have risen by almost 40%, and long term it is likely to lead to more pork imports from Europe and America to meet demand which will also push up global meat prices. But as we'll see later on in this article, Europe isn't safe from this uh, pig Ebola either. And what we have seen so far is just the beginning. In fact, China's Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Affairs is now telling us that the price of pork is likely to rise 70% by the end of 2019. Of course, if this disease continues to spread, which it will, we could be talking about an epidemic that could literally end the global pork industry as we know it today, those famines. Already, there's a tremendous amount of paranoia about the spread of this virus, and for good reason. In fact, the virus has been found in Chinese pork products that were confiscated by customs officials in Japan, South Korea, and Australia. And that's just the pork they were able to get their hands on. Who knows how much was able to get through customs and has already been consumed by people. But the virus has been in Chinese pork products that were confiscated by customs officials in Japan, South Korea, and Australia, suggesting that the virus has permeated the food chain in China. And could it be possible that pork products tainted with the disease were able to slip through the inspection process in various countries? Yes, we don't know, but you'll find out soon enough. But what we do know is that African swine fever has been spreading all over Asia. It has now spread to Mongolia, Cambodia, Hong Kong, North Korea, and Vietnam. In fact, it is now being projected that Vietnam will lose 10% of its pork production this year. Raba Bank is projecting that Vietnam, which in May mobilized its military in the fight against the disease, will lose 10% of its pork production. Today, pork accounts for three quarters of all meat consumption in the nation of Vietnam. This disease is already a major national crisis in that country, and we are still in the very early stages of this outbreak. Meanwhile, this virus is starting to pop up in Europe as well. See, it's already spreading. No, no place is going to be safe from this uh, African swine flu. According to one report, the disease was just identified at a major pig farm in Poland. A farm with more than 8,000 pigs in Poland has broke with African swine fever. According to the World Organization for Animal Health, the farm is located in Bielsk Podlaski, near the border with Belarus. But that's it for this article. So just one example of these pestilences uh, popping up in diverse places. And again, it's only going to get worse and worse. Expect to see uh, hundreds of thousands of people begin to die off in massive numbers. This is 2nd Ezra's chapter 16. I'm going to start at verse.